Okay, so I'm just going to read my piece first, okay? okay? Okay. I wrote in response to this picture, so that you know that. Anticipation rolled down my back in the form of sweat beads collecting at the nape of my neck and hiding under my arms. My linen suit didn't have enough weight to cover it up for long. We'd walked the National Mall, scoured the stacks at the Smithsonian Archives, and landed here, a place not originally on the agenda. As we approached the rotunda, no, as we approached the rotunda-like porch encompassing the whitewashed house, we were reminded that this was our house and we should make ourselves at home. But how do I do that when the family photos adorning the mantle reflect the faces of JFK, Ronald Reagan, and President Obama? When the hand towels in the bathroom are stitched with a large B, not easily mistaken for an H. When the white gloved server looks nothing like my family. Leave it to the family dog to make us feel right at home with his velvety nose nudge and a tennis ball dropped at our feet. As Jenna and I pursued the grounds and wandered the gentle arc of the porch, we followed Champ to the deck of the pool. After the sweaty day we'd endured, nothing would feel nicer than a dip in that crystal clear pool. The deck chairs surrounded us, hinting at the sharpshooters that encircled the house and yard. One peeked over the top of the pool house, seemingly curious about these raucous visitors acting much the same as their students might. Giggling, we made eye contact with him, all in black. His smile belied the power of the gun he held at the ready. Can we dip our toes in, we asked to no one in particular. To our delight, he answered, it's your house too, go ahead. I wondered if the radio chatter had tipped him off to the title of the group and assured him that we meant no harm. Still, he didn't lower his gun and appeared just as foreboding as I would expect a sniper to look. Without much of a second thought, Jenna and I plopped down on the edge, raised our pant legs, and dipped our toes in the vice president's pool, our pool. All right, so that's my piece. So it seems to be a story about visiting a house. I'm not sure which house. She mentioned the vice president, but I wasn't sure at the beginning. Right. Maybe it's in Washington, D.C. Maybe there's a trip there. Is they talking about a rotunda? Yeah. I think there's a rotunda. <coughs> uh, she mentioned the National Mall, so I think yeah, that's also too. in Washington. Let me write that down so I remember to ask later. Let's see. Um, as a reader, it made me feel as if I was a part of the story, if I was there because of her um, word choice and her description. I would agree. <clears throat> yep, definitely. It was very descriptive and exciting to listen to. I felt a little nervous when she talked about sharpshooters and yeah. snipers. Yeah. And I thought, wow, where is she going that she feels like she's going to be shot at? Right, I, I said that too. I'm curious about the guy in black. <laughs> and how he really was, but the way she wrote about him was really interesting. Mm -hmm. I agree. Kind of made him scary, but friendly at the same time. Yes. That's interesting. <clears throat> so I wonder, at the beginning, she talked about being having beads of sweat. I don't know if, she, if it was hot that day, if she was nervous. Yes. Oh, that's true. I, I think I thought about that, too. Nervous. I think it, I think it was hot because they're going to dip in a pool. Oh, that's true. That's later. In the story. That's true. The pool looked very inviting. Right. So what if she explains that in the beginning of the story too? I think that would be helpful. That would clear things up a little earlier in the story. I think so. I think it would be helpful if she made it more clear, but because it sounds originally like her house. Right she kept referring it to our house and that made me picture something completely different mm -hmm. at the beginning than it did at the end. I agree. Well thanks for reading this you guys. Um, I think I probably need to clear it up at the beginning that <coughs> it's Washington DC. I was trying to like leave that kind of open but I think based on your response probably I need to make that more clear where I am especially if people haven't been there before. Um, and then I was trying with the our house part to make that sort of surprise at the end where I was. Do you think I need to clear it up so that it's not a surprise at the end? Because it doesn't come until the very end where you know where we are. Hmm. I don't. I don't know. I like. I kind of actually like the way you wrote it 
because you're making it sound as if even though it's a government place, it's ours mm -hmm. too because we're the people. Okay. But maybe the location might be helpful. At the you beginning. Yeah. Washington. So maybe yeah. at the beginning, yes. Mm -hmm. So it narrows it down Sometimes. for the reader. Because I talk about like the large B, I talk about the presidents on the mantelpiece, right. but if I give it more of a narrow, mm -hmm. we're in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C., okay. Then I think I'll definitely do that. Um, I, I wonder if I need to clarify what I'm there for, or does, is that clear enough? Like, is it important? I don't think it's important to the story because so. it's about the toes in the pool. Yeah, that, that was what my focus was going to be, was that piece. Okay, so I think for sure then um, I can clarify where I am, and that would probably make it a better piece altogether. I think so, too. I think so. Thanks for your suggestions. You're welcome. All done.